I have to admit that every day that goes by, I'm increasingly less optimistic that I am a member of an institution that can successfully deal with the debt limit. Sadly, I must admit that. Uh, I'm wondering if failure by Congress to deal with it was one of the, quote, unanticipated shocks that you suggested our economy might be vulnerable to, and whether it is or not what you would suggest about what the economic consequence would be if Congress did, in fact, does, in fact, fail to lift the debt limit later this early fall? Well, I think it would be quite disruptive. It's important to understand that passing the extension of the debt limit is not approving new spending. What it's doing is approving payment for spending already incurred. So uh, it would be very concerning uh, for financial markets and I think for the general public if uh, the United States didn't, <clears throat> didn't pay its bills. So um, I hope very much that uh, that particular issue can be resolved smoothly. I'm not, I'm not claiming in any way that it's not important to discuss these critical fiscal issues. It is. But um, to raise the prospect that the government won't pay its bills, including not just its interest on debt, but even what it owes to seniors or to veterans or to contractors, um, is very concerning, and I think it could provide some um, uh, shock to, uh, to the economy if it, if it got severely um, out of hand. Is there a material possibility that the shock would be so great as to be recession-inducing? Depending on how it plays out, um, I think in particular that um, a default by the U.S. government would be extremely disruptive, yes.